Welcome to the Science of Clock Change, a video series by Save Standard Time to explain how clock time affects our lives. This series was made possible with generous funding from the American Academy of Sleep Medicine Foundation. Hello, I'm Dr. Karen Johnson, a professor of neurology and a sleep medicine specialist. In this video, we will discuss long-term risks of living on daylight saving time. Much of the health research uses position and time zone data to estimate the effect of living on daylight savings time. Position and time zone is a good proxy for daylight savings time because the sun sets an hour or more later on the western edge of time zones than on the eastern edge. One of the largest studies showed that one hour of clock delay and later sunrises and sunsets is associated with a 10% increased risk of obesity, a 19% increased risk in heart attacks, a 16% increased risk of heart disease, and a 5% increased risk of type 2 diabetes. This study estimated that the increased risk of just these problems would lead to over $2.3 billion a year in increased healthcare expenses if we were to adopt permanent daylight saving time. Other studies have looked at cancer risks. One study found that for every hour delay in clock time, men have a 9% increased risk of cancer, while women have a 12% increased risk. In another study, there was a 21% increased risk of liver cancer for every hour delay from the middle of the time zone. The risk was 50% higher in certain races and ethnicities. To learn more about which populations might be more affected by daylight saving time, I asked Dr. Indira Guru Babakavatula, a sleep medicine specialist at the University of Pennsylvania in the Philadelphia VA. What populations might be affected by daylight savings time? So teenagers and young adults tend to be more susceptible. And this is because they naturally tend to go to bed later and wake up later than other groups. So they have a more delayed circadian rhythm. And parents who have school-aged children and adults who work before the uh, starting hour of 8 a.m. are much more likely to sleep less during daylight saving time. And are there certain reasons that certain races or minorities also might be more affected? Yeah, there are reasons why African Americans tend to sleep less than other racial groups in general. And there may be a confluence of multiple factors. And if we add daylight saving time on, the, on top of that, then you are imposing acute sleep deprivation on top of chronic sleep deprivation in an already vulnerable population. So basically anyone that's already not getting enough or good quality sleep to start are likely gonna be even worse off once we go to daylight savings time. Exactly, people who are chronically sleep deprived or have a tendency towards later bedtime, later wake up time or have those structural disparities where they just can't get the amount of sleep they need. Exactly, yeah. While the average degree of sleep loss from daylight savings time is small, those who are most affected can have poor sleep quality or lose enough sleep to put them at risk for many health problems associated with sleep deprivation, like cancer, obesity, high blood pressure, heart disease, infections due to weaker immune system, and higher death rates. Sleep and circadian alignment are very important for brain health and function. To learn more, I have asked Dr. Joyce Lee Iannotti, a neurologist and sleep medicine specialist at the University of Arizona. Joyce, can you explain to us how sleep and circadian rhythms affect the brain? Absolutely. So we know that sleep disruption decreases the formation of new cell connections and also prevents the release of toxins during sleep. We know that changes in sleep impact things like mood, and learning and memory formation. And then things like the experience of pain and even behaviors like, um, for example, um, uh, risk-taking and racial profiling. Circadian disruption also has effects on adolescence, not only in behavior, but also academic performance. So it really affects everything. Absolutely, everything. Similar negative health effects are associated with social jet lag and evening chronotype, which are measures of circadian rhythm dysfunction that are worsened with daylight saving time. Notable effects include increased risk of heart disease, high blood pressure, metabolic disorder, and pain syndromes like fibromyalgia. An example of how these long-term brain effects impact our lives, let's look at crime. Some supporters of permanent daylight saving time suggest that increased evening sunlight would induce crime. 
However, they don't account for the long-term effects of sleep loss and circadian disruption on crime rates, including increases in drug and alcohol use, lower average incomes and graduation rates, increase in mood disorders, poorer judgment, and increases in risky behaviors. Additionally, most of juvenile crime occurs while it's still light out, so increasing unstructured time in the light after school can actually increase juvenile crime. In this video, we discuss the long-term health risks of permanent daylight saving time. These risks will affect teenagers and other night owls and those with early start times most. The estimated cost of these health problems is over $2 billion every year. Daylight saving time also harms brain health and function. Permanent standard time can protect health and improve public safety. To learn more about how to harness the full power of the sun after watching this video series, visit savestandardtime.com. Advocate by texting XST to 50409 to tell your legislators to end clock change now with permanent standard time.